Good morning. Welcome to Miss Queen's class. Fourth graders, you're learning how to do add like fractions. Six ninth plus two ninth, or you can write it vertically. Six ninth plus two ninth equal eight or nine. I added the numerators because they were like fractions because nine and nine are same. They are like fractions because the denominators are the same. So you just add the numerators. Six plus two, eight over nine. Are the fractions in this addition problem like or unlike? They are like. What fractional part does the denominator represent? It represents the ninth. What do you know about adding fractions? The denominator remains the same and the numerators are added. 6 ninth plus 2 ninth equal 8 or 9. Now let's look at an unlike fraction. It's a story problem. It takes half loaf of bread to bread, loaf of French bread to make a large Subway sandwich and one fourth loaf to make a small Subway sandwich. How much of the loaf is needed to make one sandwich of each size? What equation can you use to solve this problem? Half plus one fourth. Since halves and fourths name different fractional parts, how can you add them? Answer, I can rename one of the fractional parts so that both fractions have fractional parts of the same size. Can you partition, repartition one of the loaves so that both loaves have the parts of the same size? Half is shown in one picture. The other one shows one fourth. Which loaf could I repartition? Definitely one, the one that is showing half. You can increase that half, draw two lines to repartition. Now there are twice as many parts. The parts are the same. Another name, half is equal to two-fourth. Half, now divided into four parts. So two-fourth, look at the two-fourth, and half are equal. Equal. Can we add the fractions together? Two-fourth plus half, two plus one is three. Three over four. So half as two-fourth is expressing the fraction in a higher term. Since, since the whole is partitioned into a greater number of parts, how much of a loaf is needed to make one large and one small sandwich? Three-fourth of the loaf is needed. So half plus one-fourth, which you um, change the half to uh, two-fourth, and then you were able to add it and you got three-fourths of the loaf is needed to make one large and one small sandwich. Subtract unlike fractions. Seven-tenth minus four-tenth. What do you know about fractions and subtraction problem? They are like fractions because the denominator is at 10. So you can add or you can subtract. In this case, you'll subtract seven minus four will give you three-tenth. Now another question, subtract 2 8 from 3 4 Can I can rename one of the fractions so that both fractions have the same number of fractional parts as a whole. What fractional parts should you rename? 3 4 How can you repartition each fourth to show eighth? And here is a diagram. See the first one has 2 8 and this one has 3 4 so I will change the 3 4th, I'll add more lines and make 3 4th into 6 8th. Also you can think, what is 4 times what gives you 8? 4 times 2. So you remember the value of 1. Value of 1 would be 2 over 2. So if you multiply 3 over 4 by 2 over 2, you will get 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 times 2. 2 times 4 is 8. So 6 over 8. And 3 fourth is equal to 6 8. Look at the blue colored uh, boxes and the 6 8. They are same equivalent. And so now 
the denominators are the same, and so you can uh, subtract. 6 8 minus 2 8, you will get 4 8. And so here I have done the problem for you. 3 8 minus 2 8. Remember the equivalent fraction, 6 8 minus 2 8, you get 4 over 8. Using this information, do page 251, 252. Likewise, page 253, 254, remember the identity property of multiplication, how we can use the value of 1 to rename fractions, just like you did uh, uh, 3 4 minus 2 8. That means you... Um, up here, I have got the picture 3 8 plus 1 half. What is, uh, since halves and eighths have different fraction parts, how can you add 3 8 and 1 half? I can rename of the fractions so that both have the same denominator. Which fraction we rename half because halves when multiplied by 4, product is 8. 3 8 plus half times 4 over 4 will give you 4 8. So half is equivalent to 4 8. So you have to first make the fractions equivalent by making the denominators equal. And then you have to do your addition or subtraction. So 3 plus 4 is 7. So the answer is 7 8 and 7 8 is a proper fraction. Using same formula, do subtraction fractions on page 253-254. Thank you and any questions I'll answer at Zoom. Bye now.